Explain to us gerrymandering and, and why, first of all, how Congress draws these districts and what that means to people. Because a lot of people don't, I think those people are actually still a little confused yeah. as to why, for example, in Massachusetts, a million Republicans may, may as well not vote. Why right. is that? Right. Explain that. So state by state, the states draw districts, um, and they draw districts mainly to protect incumbents. So this, you know, we, we think that we pick our representatives. Our representatives pick us. Mm -hmm. They draw districts so that we will vote in the way they know we will vote and elect them. So in each state has, has um, let's say, depending, Massachusetts may have six districts. And that means that they have six congressmen representing yeah. Massachusetts. Yeah. And, so, and so they draw districts mm -hmm. so that 90% of Congress, literally, not an exaggerated 90, 90% is a safe seat. Meaning if you're a Republican in a safe seat Democratic district or a Democrat in a safe seat Republican district, you know your congressman doesn't give a shit about you because you could never matter to that congressman. So in Massachusetts, exactly right, a million people voted Republican. We don't have a single Republican congressman from Massachusetts. A million people voted for Donald Trump. There was not a single elector that went for Donald Trump because we structure the system so that we, the politicians get to control exactly what that um, uh, result looks like. Now, what that means is, for those people who are a Democrat in a Republican district or a Republican in a Democrat district, you might as well not vote. 89 million Americans have no reason to vote for Congress because they know that their vote could never change their congressman's uh, And this goes for the Electoral College as well, right? Yeah. Because th somehow states or Congress made it, it's not in the Constitution, made it so that the Electoral College, so if you, if you win, if you get just one more electoral vote than the other side, all those electoral votes go to you. Yeah, state by state, all okay. but two states have made it so that the Electoral College is winner take all. So the Constitution creates the Electoral College, but it tells the states you can allocate your electors how you want. So they've made it winner take all. So you get one more vote than the other side, you get all the electors. And what that means is the only states that matter in the presidential election are battleground states. All the other states are already Because we already know that yeah. the other states like Idaho so, are going right. red no so matter what. In. The fix is in for all the other ones. But so, yeah, in, these, in these 14 states. 14 states out of 15. In 2016, 99% of campaign spending was in those 14 states. The only other spending was when they went to California. 99% of all yeah. spending went just to those 14, 14 states. swing states. Yeah. That's so, unbelievable. So that means if you don't live in one of those 14 states, you don't matter to the presidential candidates. And what we can show is that those battleground states get more money per capita than non-battleground states. They get regulations bent to make them happy. When Donald Trump said he was gonna end the offshore drilling restriction, within 24 hours, Florida had gotten a waiver. California couldn't even get a hearing because, of course, nobody gives a shit what California thinks. They're not a swing state. But Florida is one of the most important states in the presidential election. So this is a completely artificial structure because of the way states have decided to allocate electoral votes, which means that the election is decided by 14 states that are older, they're whiter, their industry is from the 19th century. There are five times as many people in America who work in solar energy as, as mine coal. But you never hear about solar energy in a presidential election because they don't live in battleground states. What you hear is about coal miners because coal miners live in battleground states. God.